My name is Shirley Islam, and my project that I founded was the City Carers Community. I thought of the idea in April 2020, at the start of the pandemic, there were lots of carers that needed support, and it was the only way to connect us together using Zoom. In the city here, we don't have a resident-led carer group, or what they call, I think, peer groups. And this was the first time where the technology allowed us to join together. Yeah, I thought of the imagined fun as art or music, or but it had the word community, and I thought, well, I'm going to try. We had essentially two main things, I'd say. The first was on Mondays, we have a share and learn where anyone that needs any help with anything, such as, oh my God, there's no more shopping slots. What do I do? How do I get a shopping slot? Where do I find them? Um, what's happened to the hospital appointment? And even last week, we were talking about renewing our disabled badges and what the process was. So that's the, I suppose, the hints and tips and sharing that we do. Then on the weekends, on Sundays, it has been Sundays so far, I have run nine sessions so far of two to three different activities. One is Qigong and the other one was a reduced price version of Monoprint, but essentially making everybody feel able to do something within the hour. People are looking for it. It's, it's grown organically and it's just been amazing. And another part I'd say was it's really transformative. I mean, this year for me, for many people, the pandemic has been so difficult time and challenging time. But for carers, it's allowed us to connect and attend things far more. I mean, there's a particular carer that in a whole year might have attended two meetings. At the start of this, they were there every single month for five months because we can care, switch off, leave a hospital appointment, get on a Zoom, and then go back to what we're doing. So I discovered we had more attendance, more people, more questions. I discovered all skills that I used to have to bring people together. And I also discovered about how to put things in the local newsletters. I have more demand than I have budget for. I have more people than I can provide for. So to be able to do that and to create a team, when I applied and I asked the other carers, you know, what would you like to do? I'm, I'm going to try community Zoom account and try for activities we want to do. Everyone thought well, that's never going to happen. It made us more believe in ourselves, believe in our ability to spot an idea and to make it happen, which without the Zoom, it would not have done. Without the funding, couldn't have had the instructors. It has allowed connection amongst families and locations up and down the country. It has allowed people to reconnect with people that haven't even spoken to all year. It's allowed people to see and wave and, you know, there's so much that could be done. It's just, yeah, mind blowing. <laughs>